Hey guys, welcome back to Wiles HVAC and stuff. Today I wanted to talk about customer service for just a minute. Uh, customer service is huge in our industry and it's one of those things that I think is forgotten or not talked about often enough or at least the fact of good customer service because you know anybody out there could be a contractor, anybody could be a service tech. Uh, just because you can turn a wrench, use a multimeter, cut a 2x4, whatever it is, that does not mean necessarily that you have good customer service. Good customer service starts from the point when that homeowner calls in and says, you know, I have a problem, I want you to correct that issue. Uh, that's when it starts. So, you know, whoever's in the office, uh, that be it a dispatcher, a receptionist, uh, a secretary, whatever it may be, uh, you know, they have to make sure that they're paying attention to the needs of that homeowner that's calling in. They have to make sure that that homeowner feels that, that we're going to address their issues. Because you have to think about it, they're calling in because they have a problem or they have an issue of some sorts, and we are the people that relieve those issues. So it, it has to be put out there pretty clear that we're going to take care of this, we're going to fix your problems, and you know, you're going to be happy at the end of the day. So you know, when it starts there, it has to be done right. And then from the point when a service tech comes to the door, knocks on the door, or an installer, whatever it may be, um, you know, you have to pay attention to how you present yourself. You know, you need to be in full uniform. If you're working for a contractor that doesn't have uniforms, you show up in a ripped up, untucked t-shirt with a pair of jeans. Uh, you need to either find a different contractor to work for, or you need to talk to your boss and see if they can get some uniforms so you look professional. Because uh, everybody needs to look professional, and your uniform needs to be clean and, and upkept and all that. Uh, you know, pay attention to how you look. First impressions mean everything. There's so many people out there that say, "Ah, people don't pay any attention to first impressions." That's absolutely not true. You know, the first few seconds that a client meets you when they open the door, you know, they're taking an evaluation of you and and how you look, how you you talk, how you present yourself, and everything. You know that goes with that you know they if they immediately open the door and say well this guy you know he's not gonna, he doesn't look professional he's not going to act professional in my house he's not going to be able to do the job you know we don't want that uh, you know first impressions may be unfair sometimes but unfortunately that's what life is so you have to pay attention every house you go to and before you knock on the door make sure you look okay you know know the words that you're going to use and you're going to say and be ready to greet that customer you know be friendly be nice uh, all those things like that, and you know, when, when first thing you need to ask when you walk in the door after you've introduced yourself, you know who you are, who you're with, and everything. You need to state the fact of what you're there for. You know, you can do it in a question, or you can just flat out tell them, "I'm here to fix your furnace today. I'm here to fix your air conditioner." Or you know, you can ask them. You know, uh, they say you're having problems with your equipment. Well, how can I help you with that today? You know, be friendly, be nice. I mean, that's the biggest thing. You know, so many people forget how to be nice. It's such a simple thing, and it's just apparently hard for some people to do. So if you're one of those people that it's just absolutely impossible for you to be nice, maybe you're in the wrong profession. Uh, you know, because with customer service, that's the biggest thing to it is just be nice. And then once you, you've done your introduction and they've toured you through the home and everything, you, you know what's going on, you know, and you work on the system, if they're standing there with you, look professional. You know, don't sit there and say, well... I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. Uh, you know, that's that's not very reassuring. If you can if you can say that to somebody and be able to sound professional with it, still, then fine. But you know, you need to look as professional and competent as possible. There's a lot of days out there that we don't know what's going on and we don't know exactly what to do next. But you have to figure out how to sound professional with the fact of not really sure what to do. You know, when they ask you what's wrong with it, can you fix it? Of course you can fix it and tell them that you can fix it. You're not exactly sure yet how we're going to do that, but it's going to be taken care of. Don't you worry. So, you know, sound competent with everything that you do, regardless what's going on. And then once you actually find out what the repair is, you know, be prepared to present that to them. You know, don't, don't just uh, fly off the handle and say, well, this is probably what it's going to be. It's going to cost you 500 bucks and we'll move on with the day. No, you need to have a presentation set up. You need to be well practiced and trained with it. Uh, you know, this is the part that's failed. This is what it does, and this is why you need it. And once you des describe to them why they need it and how important it is, you know, the the price of that repair becomes minor. Um, you know, if they know that they need it and they want it, uh, it all comes back to to uh, 
uh, presentation. You know, how you present it to them is how they're going to take it, you know, how they're going to perceive the issue. Um, I've got a good write-up on uh, Blogger. Uh, it's, you can find it at Wiles, HVAC and stuff .blogspot .com. Uh, it, It's a write-up about uh, perception, uh, you know, how homeowners perceive the situation, how they perceive the repairs that they need and everything that goes along with that. So perception is absolutely everything, but um, I just thought I'd add that blog spot in, uh, note in there. So check out the blog and and uh, you know, there's an actual written up version there that you can see. But as, as far as customer service, it's just a matter of being nice. It's just a matter of presenting what you have and making sure they understand because when, when it's done right, you know, the homeowner's happy with regardless what the bill is, they're happy with that situation. You know, they have heat again, you got paid, you know, it's a good day all around. And at that point, they're going to call you back. So good customer service is everything. Just be nice, be yourself, practice and rehearse what you're, what you're going to say and everything that you do. Um, you know, you don't want to sound rehearsed, but at the same time, you need to practice what you do often enough so that it just becomes second nature to say, well, this is what it is, this is what it does, this is why you need it, and this is what it costs. You know, those are the main points to hit on. Um, and, you know, if, if they understand it and they're happy with you, they're happy with the situation, they're going to say, okay, how soon can you get it fixed? And, you know, they're going to call you again next time. So, uh, again, you know, customer service is absolutely everything. Practice with all that you do with customer service, you know. Be, be, uh, be proficient with it and just do your job and be nice. That's all it takes. So if you have any comments or anything, leave them in the comment box below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe as often as possible. Don't forget to ring the bell up there. That way you get notifications when uh, new videos come out. So otherwise, thank you and God bless.